And having said that, I join the faith of my world chairman and other Soka papers who believe in this agenda to work for Soka clan person. Anybody we need to get any, they can go to work. Man, I will tell you, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 So I support the council chairman election from Sokwa clan from what seven we are funded for in Nenya and I will follow that direction. I'm not going to know the surprise because no one did have fun in the meeting Jesse. Oh, oh, then they just Jesse in our pocket and one. I want to know Sokwa na jopa. Go on in Sokwa clan na jopa. I must play my politics somewhere. So having said that, I am back home because my people are contesting. So my watch him and while with you, while with you collectively, while with you both in spirit, both in spirit, physical, we are here to support you. So we have nullified the endorsement of Jun Chukunwike and reactivate and endorse the Sokwa clan agenda for council chairman. And I have also made up my mind. I am an interested party who wants to contest council election. I have also made a public statement that my ambition to become a councillor is not enough reason to give a support to another clan, to another politician from another community in this council election. So I can sacrifice my councillorship ambition to support an Ansokwama who is going for council election. Because the office of the councillor, from my little understanding, do not attract anything for the community apart from my own personal uh, uh, benefit. I don't. I have nothing to show for it. But the council chairman, if he succeeds and become the council chairman of our council, there's every tendency that during his leadership he can attract development like our market that seems like a rolling ground for rabbits, for rats, for reptiles, and all that. It will change to become an ultra-modern standard of market. Our nursery school that has been a place of mockery, a place where the children will come and sit on the floor, will turn to become an ultra-modern standard of a nursery school. And so many things that the council can attract for us. Nobody will be better for us than our son. So, it is on this strength I have to throw my weight behind the aspirant from Nsokwa community. I've sacrificed the councillorship election. If that is the crime, that will make them to deny me ticket. If when I win the election, they will deny it. So be it. Uh, I am also aware in the past, the, the only thing councillors can attract to themselves is to build four bedroom flats, five bedroom flats, buy a vehicle, do marriage, wear clothes. By God's grace, God has provided all this for me. I've, I've built a house, I've bought vehicles, I've bought for people, I'm driving one, I am still buying, I'm also, I am married, I am still wearing clothes. So I can sacrifice my ambition for councillorship position for Sokwaman to be the council chairman. And that is my position and that's why I choose to identify with this struggle. It is not bad that some of our brothers and sisters and some other leaders are also having support for another clan. There's nothing bad about it. That is politics. Every Nsokwa man may not also support 100% to their sons and daughters who are contesting this election. But I need to satisfy my conscience. That is why I decided to throw my weight behind my people. Yes, I have some... There's some incentive. There's, sen there's also sentiments there. I can hear their cry louder and clear. Yes. If by virtue of equity, yes, they are, they are not fallen from the track of justice. Political justice is expected that when one clan take one position, another clan take another position, another position should also go to another clan. There's nothing bad in that uh, crusade of the equity. But it's what added way to the crusade is that son of the soil from Ansoka where I came from, is running for the election. It's become double equity to me. It's become double equity. And uh, we have performed very well in last election. I remember what the party leader from the local government told us during campaign, that when you vote, your vote is also part of consideration for sharing formula. As part of things that you need to show 
for you to benefit from the devilness of democracy. And by God's grace, so far, community came back second. Considering their voting strength in the last election, in the entire local government, they came out second. They came out first in Nsokwa clan. So, they deserve that when sharing, they should also consider that they will have the urge and the spirit to do more come 2027 general election. Anything short of that, people don't keep to their words politically. I remember during the campaign too, I made a campaign promise. I was not contesting an election, but I want my party to win. I made a promise to the Okada riders in my community, Okada Association, to support us to win an election. That I will give them one motorcycle after the victory of PDP in my world. And I told them, oh no, before October 1st, I will do so. By October 6th, I gave them that motorcycle just to redeem my campaign promise. Because we say continuous journey. And what we do today, we can't for you tomorrow. What we do today, we either destroy you or it will also make you. So I have to redeem that promise. So PDP leaders in our clan, in our local government, should redeem that promise. Promise given to the people of and so called clan. Promise given to they are not they are not trap people. That when you vote massively, is part of consideration for you to benefit from the dividends of democracy from government. And then so called clan have voted massively. The victory of PDP cannot be counted without mention of so called clan first in all scheme of things. And it's in the, on this trend, I am calling on the leadership of PDP and not just out, leadership of PDP in the state, leadership of PDP in the so-called club, to also consider what seven who have been over marginalized over the years. Since 24 years, the so-called community has never benefited any substantive position from the party that have been voting for massively all these years. They should also be compensated for their patience, for their hard work, for their faithfulness, all this way. That is what I am, I am calling for. I am fully out. I've done every consequences to say I'm going to support the Nsokwa clan agenda. I'm going to support the Nsokwa community. I'm going to support World 7. That is the beauty of my position now. I need to satisfy my conscience. I cannot be enslaved. I cannot allow certain selfish sentiments of an individual to enslave my good conscience for my people.